Welcome to Travelers to Please. Here we are at the beginning of a brand new journey. The idea this time is to go from Mumbai all the way to Kanyakumari. Yes, land's end of India, Kanyakumari. It's a long journey to cover by road. Well, about 2000 odd kilometers only. So yeah, the first stop is going to be Gokarna in Uttar Karnatak. Right now, I'm at a coffee shop at the Mumbai Pune Expressway. It's about 12 in the night. We are going to reach Gokarna uh, by I guess 10 in the morning tomorrow. It's a long drive. So stay tuned and uh, lots more travel videos, lots more coastal cities and of course the last destination Kanyakumari coming up. Day 1 of the trip started by witnessing a serene sunrise on the Mumbai Bengaluru Highway. The temple town of Gokarna was earlier visited only by Lordship devotees to get his blessings at the famous Mahabaleshwar temple. But now one sees a lot of tourists who come there to enjoy its pretty beaches. We are in the beautiful temple city of Gokan. Gokan is most certainly famous for the Mahabaleshwar temple but it is also famous for its pristine beaches. Just 91 kilometers from Goa, the beaches in Gokarna are for people who want to be one with nature. On our way to Mangalore was the town of Murudeshwar, which boasts of the tallest lordship statue in all of India, sitting high at a height of 123 feet. Just 9 kilometers from Mangalore city, Someshwar Beach is popular for visitors coming there to witness the sunset. Welcome to Kozi Kode. Kozi Kode, which was earlier called Calicut, is an urban city of Kerala with too many people and too much traffic. The name Kerala itself means the land of coconut trees. And now along the highways one can see several roadside coconut stalls. Next stop is Kochi. I'm really excited to go to Kochi. I love that city and I'll see you there. Oh, 
On the road to Kochi, we witnessed school students distributing pamphlets about safety driving rules in their state. Didn't understand a word of Malayalam, but surely understood their message. The Queen of the Arabian Sea. Kochi is a city that is rich in history and culture. Sixteen hundred kilometers from Mumbai, and we finally reached Kochi. Sun is setting, which means yet another day is over, and we are one more day closer to get to our final destination, which is Kanyakumari. Kochi's Chinese fishing nets, synagogue, ancient mosques, and old Portuguese houses are sites which one can't find anywhere else in India. South India's traditional and favorite breakfast is the idli. My God, all these city names are such big tongue twisters. Uh, after having driven for so long, I haven't touched. After having driven for five long days, visited Gokarna, visited Mangalore, visited Kochi, visited uh, Calicut, <laughs> Ernakulam, and now Tiruvannandapuram, which means we are just one more day closer to going to Kanyakumari. When visiting Tiruvannandapuram, do plan a visit to the Padmanabha Swami Temple, the wealthiest temple in India. Visinjam coast of Kerala is now blessed with the statue of Christ the Redeemer. Quite similar to the one in Brazil. from Vizinjum is Kovalam Beach with this beautiful promenade of hotels, restaurants and shops. So this was the entire promenade at the Kovalam Beach. Now it's time for us to head to Kanyakumari and I'll see you guys in Kanyakumari. Let's go.
southernmost tip of peninsular India, Kanyakumari is one of the popular pilgrim and tourist cities. Welcome to Kanyakumari. Earlier known as Cape Comorin, Kanyakumari is popular for watching the sunset and the sunrise over the ocean. Kanyakumari Beach. After having travelled the entire west coast line from Mumbai to Gokarna to Mangalore to Kochi to Calicut, all the way to the land's end of India, Kanyakumari. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from BBD Television.